All right, so this video I'm going to look at uh, solving a system of equations that has fractions in it. All right, so you know when you're solving a system of equations, we got two equations, two unknowns. Uh, the same thing would go if you had uh, a system of three equations and three unknowns. You would. It's just one thing that you're going to do first, and it's going to be get rid of the fractions. Okay. So to solve this, what we want to do is we want to get rid of the fractions, and then you can either use the substitution method or you can use the addition method. Probably the addition method is going to be easier. Okay. But first, let's just let's look at this. Let's look at this first equation. Now, remember, if you have an equation, you can multiply or divide the same number to both sides of the equal sign. Okay, this is no different. All right. So, for this equa for the for the first equation, we want to multiply everything through by the common denominator. So we look at all the denominators. And you can see that the common denominator here is 35. And then for this one, we want to multiply both sides by the common denominator. So you can see here, the common denominator is what? 30. All right. All right. So let's multiply the 35. And, and what that's going to do is going to, it's going to give us a new system of equations. So if we do the 35 times 1 fifth, well 5 goes into 35 7 times, and so we'll be left with 7x plus, and then 7 goes into 35 5 times, so 5 times 1 is 5y equals, and then 5 goes into 35 7 times, and 7 times 12 is 84. And then same thing here. 10 goes into 30 three times. 3 times 1 is 3x. And then 3 goes into 30 10 times. So 10 times 1 is 10y equals. And then 6 goes into 30 five times. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay. All right, so now here's our system. So remember when you're solving the system, well, we're going to use the addition method. Okay. So remember when you add these, you want one of the variables to go out. Okay, so we can, so, so look at this. We could multiply this equation by what? Uh, negative 3. And this one by 7, that would give us what? Negative 21 and 21. Okay. Or we could multiply the bottom one by negative 7 and the, and the top one by 3. That would give us 21 and negative 21. And when we add, the x's would go out. Okay. But look at this. Why not multiply, just multiply the first one? Just multiply the first one by negative 2. That would give me negative 10. And then the y's go out. See, what that will do is save me from having to multiply the second one by a number. Okay. Now, if you did the negative 3 and the positive 7 to get rid of the x's, that would work. You would come out with the correct answer. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. So that's going to give me what? negative 14x minus 10y equals, and let's see, that's going to be negative, and what is that, 168, and then we have what, 3x plus 10y, whoop, plus 10y equals 25. Okay. All right, and then we just add, so this is what, 11x, and then that goes to 0 equals, and let's see, 168 minus 25, that is going to give me 143. And then, look at this, we got an equation, 11x equals 143, 
so I'll divide both sides by 11 and so I'm I'm gonna come up here and I get X let's see 143 I think that's 13 Oop, let me change colors back so X is equal to 13 I'll make sure yeah divided by 11 yep 13 okay all right now we've got X but remember we we need our solution in the form XY I need my X which I have that's 13 now I need the Y so I'm gonna take the 13 and you don't have to go back to the original equation that wouldn't be very nice because then we would have fractions and having to solve you can plug it back into any one of these equations here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just I'm gonna plug it back into this one because the numbers are smallest there okay so I'm not gonna plug it into this one I'm gonna plug it into this one and the only reason is because the numbers are smaller and there's no fractions alright so let's plug 13 in for X so that's gonna give us 3 times 13 plus 10y equals 25 and so that's what 39 plus 10y equals 25 and then I need to subtract 39 to both sides okay so let's see that is going to give me 10y equals and then that's going to be negative 14 and then I'll divide both sides by 10 and so I get y is equal to and that will reduce to 7 fifths okay. alright so there's my y value negative 7 fifths so my solution let's see, here we go let's write it here I'll write my solution here is going to be 13 negative 7 fifths okay and I hope that video helped give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching